And tonight, movie lovers are remembering an American original legendary actor, Mickey Rooney, who died at the age of 93. And his career mirrored so many chapters in American life. Rooney, the actor, brought infectious joy that lifted up a nation, even when his own life was stormier than we knew. Here's ABC's David Wright. He was the original child star, with all the turmoil and trouble that comes with that. Mickey Rooney was acting before he was two, starring in his first silent film in 1927, Mickey's Circus. By the time I was 17, I'd been in show business 15 years. A contract player for MGM back in the heyday of the Hollywood studios, he sold more tickets than Clark Gable, Tyrone Power, Betty Davis, or Bob Hope. Well, any time's all right for me, you know that. As the baby-faced bully redeemed by Spencer Tracy in Boys Town, or the hard luck teenager of the Andy Hardy movies. Andy, you're beautiful. All 15 of them. Or as a song and dance man opposite Judy Garland, no less. He made $12 million before he was 40, but lost it through gambling, addiction, and serial divorce. Married eight times, once to a woman he had known barely a week. At the 1982 Academy Awards, he held himself up as a cautionary tale to his fellow actors. When I was 19 years old, I was the number one star of the world for two years. When I was 40, nobody wanted me. Rooney kept acting well into his 90s. Looking this way. One of his last great roles, The Black Stallion, as an old man chasing the dreams of his youth, a role that might best epitomize his epitaph. I tried. Mickey Rooney was 93. David Wright, ABC News, Hollywood.